Let's look at making an application. We're going to work through the application in order today, but you can complete your application in any order. Save it when you've added some information and come back to it when you're ready to continue. The first section is underpinning knowledge. Here you'll be required to upload evidence of your eligibility to use the online application service. This will either be your initial assessment outcome email or your technical report or further learning report outcome letter. You'll not be able to access the rest of the application form unless this evidence is uploaded. The example that we're showing you here has already been completed, but usually the ticks on the left would be greyed out until you've provided this evidence. We have an arrangement with the Institute of Asphalt Technology and the Institute of Quarrying to undertake professional review for their candidates. If you're applying for professional review as a member of one of these institutions, please ensure you tick the relevant box. Let's move on to personal information. If you notice that any of your details are incorrect, you'll need to go into your My Profile section of your account to edit these and then refresh the application form to see these changes take effect. A passport sized professional photo of yourself will also be required. Please refer to our FAQ page for instructions on how to size this appropriately. The next section is about your employment. For this section, you simply need to input the details of your current employer. The next section is about your sponsors. Your application must be sponsored by two individuals. Your sponsors do not need to be members of CIHT. However, they must be registrants with the Engineering Council at the appropriate level. By entering your sponsor's name and contact details, you can send to CIHT contacting them about your application. CIHT has eight highways and transportation specialisms. In this section, you'll be asked to declare your specialism to ensure that at least one of your reviewers has expertise in your area. If you're unsure which specialism to select, we recommend that you refer to CIHT's gap analysis exercise document for CNG and ING to determine which one aligns with your career to date. And you can see that there's a link to this here. You need to upload an up-to-date CV. Your CV should not exceed four sides of A4 and it must be uploaded as an A4 portrait document. You also need to upload an organisation chart. This should show your immediate team and responsibilities. It should be clear where your role sits within the organisation and this should be highlighted for ease of reference. This will also need to be uploaded as an A4 portrait document. Again, please refer to our FAQ page for instructions on how to convert landscape documents to portrait. You also need to provide details of your academic qualifications, but please only include relevant qualifications at HNC or HND level and above. You must upload confirmation of your qualification, usually your graduation certificate. If this is not available, please provide a letter from your university or college confirming your qualification. If your documentation was not issued in English, both the original language version and translations are required. During your professional review interview, if you're applying for CNG or ING, you're required to give a 15 minute presentation to your reviewers on a project of your choice, detailing your role and your contribution to the project. If you're applying for ENG Tech, you're required to give a five to 10 minute presentation about your career to date. In this section, you'll need to provide a summary of that presentation in no more than 500 words. As part of your application, you need to provide evidence of at least 25 hours of CPD for each of the two years prior to your application date. We encourage all candidates to record their CPD on our A4 portrait template, which can be downloaded from this page. However, if your CPD is in a landscape mode, our FAQ page will help explain how to convert this. To add your CPD record, you upload the file, enter the date of the last activity in the record, and then add the number of hours that are shown in that record. If you add more than one CPD record to this page, it totals the number of hours of CPD that you have. As well as your CPD record, 
you also need to add a professional development plan. And in this section, you should set out your professional development plans for the next two years. You'll need to list at least three aims and aspirations and then describe the skills, experience, and knowledge required to achieve these and how you intend to fulfill them. You also need to complete a SWOT analysis. Here, you'll have a 250 word limit to complete each of the strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats sections. Please refer to the prompts at the top of the page to help you complete this section. The things you list here might help you to identify the areas you want to work on in your professional development plan. The next section is where you provide your evidence against UK spec. You'll have a limit of 500 words for each A to E section of the application form. In each section, you'll be referred to the appropriate pages of UK spec fourth edition, where you'll be able to view examples of appropriate evidence to discuss which meets the standards. Each section allows you to upload a maximum of three A4 portrait documents as appendices. A maximum of 50 pages of appendices can be submitted across all competencies. If you have any essential documentation, which is A2 or A3 size, it is advised that you place all of these documents into a single URL link within the text box itself, like this link here. Our FAQ page provides instructions on how to share a link to the documents using Google Drive, but any secure sharing platform can be used, for example, Dropbox or SharePoint. When you've completed all of the evidence, the next stage is the declaration confirmation. Here, you will be asked to declare that the information provided in this application and any attached documents are complete and accurate. Once you save this section, you'll have the opportunity to review your application document. Here you can see a draft version of the submission in Word format, and this is what will be available for you to view. It's important that you check the contents of your submission carefully and make any adjustments in the online application. For example, in this version, it looks fine until you get to the CPD record, which you can see has been uploaded incorrectly and part of it is cut off. If you do need to edit it, do not attempt to edit the draft document as this will not be accepted. You will need to go back to the relevant section of the online application form to make any changes. So in this case, uploading your document again as a portrait version. You can preview your submission as many times as you wish to ensure that you're happy with it. And you'll be able to look through all of the sections to see what you've entered, including the appendices. And it's important to check the appendices have uploaded as you expect them to. And also note that the file name shows here as a title for the page. So think about what you name your file when you upload it. Once you're happy that you don't need to make any further changes, click continue to submission. You can see the button here. Once you've clicked that button, you'll be able to make payment for your professional review online. Following payment and submission of your document, you should click download submission to get a final PDF copy. CIHT will then complete an admin check of your submission let you know if any further information is required. You'll then be contacted by the education team to discuss your interview arrangements. If you experience any difficulties completing the online application service, please contact the education team at education at cioht.org.uk.